Welcome to Manco, employee. Out of the thousands of applicants, you have been chosen to join our wonderful war prolonging company. Feel special because you are. Our capitalistic reign has been going on for decades. You will be part of the decades to come. Our headquarters is a massive complex that is almost impossible to explore in a single lifetime. Behind each of these doors are secrets and wonders that all those three-letter agencies would kill for. Who am I? Well, who's better to guide you along than the current employee of the month? Of 24 consecutive months, I will be guiding you along our facilities and showcasing the several services it provides. But before that, why not moisten our throats a little? Hey, bartender, hit me up. This is our factory-owned bar, made for our hard-working employees, made for them to unwind and relax from the terrible working conditions we have them under. <laughs> Don't even get me started on the beer. It's full of lead. But hey, iron makes us strong, so why not lead? On a typical morning, one of our promising scientists made an interesting observation. Urinating on employees makes them extremely agitated. That put forth our development in P-E-E, -E, throwing pee on people. I don't think our acronym people know what an acronym is. Man, that beer is really going through me. But why should my nutrient human fluids go to waste? Our Gerardi collection room. You think a single man could fill all those jars needed in battle? Think again. In our facility, no one drop goes to waste. As with any growing empire, the big government is always looking to bring us down. We're liable for lawsuits in violation of the Working Hours Act, unusual lead dumping, and causing reprehensible damage comparable to the Chernobyl accident. Buzzwords that don't really mean anything. But how do we solve all these cases? Answer, sick children. We have a lineup of diseased kids that are all signed up for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, working for us like the tiny little blood-coughing genies they are. What would you like for the foundation to do for you, James? <coughs> I want to go home with my mom and dad. I, I mean, I want for the World Health Organization to recognize lead as a vital mineral. Now I know what you're thinking. I couldn't agree more. Let's move on. Admiring the fine paintings, eh? Funny. I had you pinned as more of a mouth breather. What you're admiring is the wonderful Olivia Mann. After the great gray man became the late one, his position was immediately taken over by his young daughter, Olivia. Both of them are like mirror images of each other. You could say the old man's spirit thrusted itself inside Olivia and worked her from the inside in the most wholesome way possible. Anyway, Mr. Fine Art, you might like paintings, but what about high-end fashion? This magazine, given free to all our employees in exchange for a sharp pay cut, showcases all of the latest fashion. This is what a true man of taste looks like. You hear that? Exactly. This is our complaint department, the quietest location in our facility. As you may imagine, in a flawless company like this one, it's not used very often. Why do we have it in the first place then? Workplace requirements. And that ends our tour. We are a company that keeps chasing the sun beyond the horizon. You may think it's in vain because the Earth is a sphere, but we don't pay you to think. We pay you to work. Now get to it, employee.